What is it, Jack? Just the largest airplane in the world, that's all. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The plane in the world, the United States Air Force C-5 Galaxy. While the C-5 Galaxy is heaving a sizable fuel load, holding gigantic military helicopters or accommodating outsized cargo, there is one thing that bears the brunt. It is the landing gear of the aircraft. This episode is dedicated to revealing the interesting story behind the 28-wheel landing gear of the C-5 Galaxy. The tricycle-type landing gear is an engineering marvel that materialized before World War II and was popularized with the introduction of the C-5A Galaxy in 1970. The landing gear has four massive shock struts attached to six wheel bogies, taking up nearly 90% of the total weight. Each bogie has two wheels forward of the shock strut, while four wheels are placed aft of the strut. One bogie has six wheels, bringing the total count to 24 in the main landing gear. The nose landing gear has four wheels fixed on a common axle and connected to the shock strut. The primary purpose of the aircraft speaks out the reason behind the 28-wheel landing gear. The C-5 Galaxy is made to lift extra heavy loads and land on austere runways with short lengths. To undertake such exacting challenges, the 28-wheel landing gear is a staple. A C-5M Super Galaxy, the improved version of the original C-5 Galaxy, is capable of holding 281,001 pounds of cargo in its exceptionally large cargo bay. As the C-5 is made to haul outsized cargo, the loading process has been made easy by design. Both the front and aft cargo doors are opened. Creating a driveway in and out across the cargo bay. To lower the aircraft to truck bed height, to ease the loading of outsized items, the entire aircraft could be kneeled by its landing gear from 10 feet to 3 feet off the ground. I think the T-5 has always been known as a heavy lifter. Uh, we carry space container modified missions with satellite and outsized cargo, carrying heavy helicopters. Um, we've always been known for doing that, and I think the C-5M coming around in the last few years has really solidified us as that heavy lifter to the warfighter. When the C-5 is at its maximum takeoff weight, the aircraft weighs a whopping 840,000 pounds. Maneuvering the takeoff run is demanding for the pilots. As the integrity of the landing gear is crucial for safe operations, the Air Force conducts frequent landing gear extension and retraction tests to prove proper working conditions. For the test, lifting the aircraft is essential. Lifting this colossal bird is undertaken by six jacks. Four 60-ton tripod jacks positioned at the right and left sides of the mid and aft fuselages. Along with two 30-ton tripod jacks at the nose section, lift the Galaxy off the ground for gear extension and retraction test.
In a C5 gear test, only one landing gear is allowed to be tested at any given time. Apart from scheduled checks, the landing gear of the C5 Galaxy undergoes thorough scrutiny before each flight. Typical inspections, such as tire pressure and condition, brake wear, and hydraulic leaks are carried out firsthand by aircraft maintenance technicians. Due to the complexity of the C5 Galaxy's landing gear, extra attention is given to the subsystems that control the landing gear caster during crosswinds. Such tests are vital for the safety of the aircraft and the specialized cargo carried on board. To ensure the tires hold their air pressure at a pressure that is able to support the enormous load of the plane, the airmen inspect the tire using sensor valves. And a thorough assessment of the wheel interface unit. C5 planes all have preventative maintenance that is scheduled every eight years. This is done so that workers are able to catch any malfunctions or anything else that might be wrong with any part of the aircraft and fix it before it becomes an issue. Kneeling the aircraft allows the direct loading of cargo onto a truck without any additional equipment. The capability of the C-5 to carry heavy loads on intercontinental routes has made the C-5 the absolute workhorse for outsized cargo. The aging C-5 galaxies were revitalized in two phases to extend their service beyond 2040. The new engines fitted to the aircraft offered 22% additional thrust, bringing down the takeoff run by almost 30%. Each CF6 turbofan engine is capable of producing 51,250 pounds of thrust. Pushing the Galaxy at a 58% faster climb rate compared to its predecessor. In addition, the cockpit also integrates a multi-mode communications system, a mission computer, a digital autopilot, multifunctional display units, safety equipment, and surveillance components. It also has built-in controls and diagnostic systems for determining when maintenance is necessary. Its integrated data link capabilities, situational awareness displays, and ability to give crew members predictable performance cues have all proven to be impressive features of the cockpit. Ultimately, everything boils down to the amount of cargo carried and the number of miles flown. This powerful engine has stretched the limits of the airplane by offering a higher level of thrust. The C-5 is capable of flying 4,800 nautical miles with a cargo load of 120,000 pounds, while in-flight refueling can extend the range by another few thousand miles. The air refueling tracks are many airways that are set aside for military use for refueling missions. 
the receiver pilot will close the distance between the aircraft, move to the pre-contact position, and signal its readiness to the boom operator. The boom operator then extends the inner portion of the boom into the C5 receptacle. And this generates an electric signal that allows the latches to close on the end of the boom, holding it in position. At the end of the refueling, the pilots can disconnect the boom, or the sensors monitoring the boom position will send another electrical impulse to disconnect the boom. Unlike many aircraft of the same size, the C-5 is capable of deploying thrust reversers when it is airborne. While the aircraft is on the ground, thrust reversers from all four engines are deployed to back up the aircraft. Backing up with the aid of thrust reversers or power backs seems convenient as no tow tug is involved in repositioning the aircraft. During an emergency, getting the C-5 galaxies in the air at a moment's notice is extremely important. To do so, maintaining the fleet in a mission-ready state is vital. Aircraft maintenance personnel work around the clock to treat these colossal birds in the best possible way. Among the maintenance activities, the removal and installation of an engine take a notable effort. Airmen undergo recurrent training on engine changes to keep them trained for real-world demands while ensuring the safety of highly valuable assets. It's important to do our part uh, to keep the engine well maintained, to ensure the safety of the crew and the aircraft, and make sure nothing goes wrong in the sky. Because unlike a car, you can't pull over at a random gas station and just fix it. Changing an engine is a collective effort. Airmen work in close liaison throughout the engine removal and installation process. To begin the engine removal, the engine is isolated from the aircraft by disconnecting fuel, hydraulic, and electrical lines with all the other sorts of connections. Once the engine bolts are removed, a pulley system is attached to the engine to support it. The engine is lowered carefully onto a pylon cradle that supports the engine during transit. The CF6 engine of the C5M Super Galaxy has a dry weight of close to 10,000 pounds. The impressive track record of the C5 Galaxy has made it a national asset. The C-5 has gone above and beyond contributing to humanity during disasters and other demanding situations. The big thing is a sense of urgency. Since we're taking search and rescue equipment, uh, there's a sense of, sense of urgency that we don't normally have to get the stuff there as quickly as possible. The features built into the aircraft, such as the 28-wheel landing gear, powerful engines, and exceptional cargo loading system, have contributed largely during these missions. Making the C5 Galaxy an indispensable asset for the entire globe. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.